What up, what up, what up? Welcome to the Authentic Era, live from uh, middle of the United States and uh, the West Best Coast. Uh, I'm Eddie. I'll be your, I don't know, whatever I am, um, here coming live from Memphis, Tennessee, uh, and I'll let the other fellas say hi as well. What up, what up, what up, what up, guys? How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing out there? Hockey's over, a little bummed out, but we'll get through it. Yeah, Tampa get through it. Tampa wins at home uh, in a hurricane. I thought the hurricanes were Carolina, yeah. so what's, what's up with that? Hey, the weather, the weather looked pretty nasty there, but uh, the people didn't care. Party was on. Party was on. Yeah, my uh, my sister lives in Tampa, and she said it was it was windy, but not not too bad. Um, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Bill, how's it going over there? Hey, chilling, chilling. About to crack open a beer here. Today we're drinking Pina Bomb by. <laughs> Mm, this one very is nice. Cool. It's a brewery. I don't know. I saw it at one of the local craft brew, brew uh, you know, liquor stores. So let's we'll see, see if it's good right now. Uh oh, here we go. It's right up your alley, Bill. That is right up your alley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hint of coconut, yeah. pineapple. It's a Northeast style IPA, double IPA. So, yeah. I've been on an IPA too lately, man. I don't know what it is, but. I used to not like that pine cone weed flavor, and then it just kind of grows on you, and then like that's all I want right now. So, so, so something that folks might not know. Um, uh, sh- well, quickly, shout out to Julio, shout out to Dave, Dave joining us in the chat today, and Ten Ten. We got Ten in the chat as well. What's up, y'all? Um, yeah. So, something that folks may not know. Joe's, you're pretty much into the, I mean, not pretty much, I guess you are in the craft beer brewing industry, right, or, or whatever? You want to talk about that for a second? I am. I am pretty briefly. I work for a pretty rad uh, brewery called Bersion. Um While I'm not drinking a Bersion beer, I am using a Bersion, uh glass. That counts, right? Um, I, I've, been, I've been working in beer for about five years now. Um, started my journey with Anheuser-Busch, which was quite a lot of fun. I got to go to all the Padre games and uh, local concerts and all that good stuff. Got my foot in the door. Went over to another small brewery. Um, paid some dues that way. Wound up with my uh, the, new, the company I've been with. I've been with them close to three years. Um, and it's a rad, rad company. Uh, Bill's, Bill's seen my spot out here in Escondido. It's uh, it's tough to walk away from, from uh, the, the place I, I help run with the um, with, uh, my coworker Patrick, but uh, great, great, great brewery I work for. Great guys. Um, they're rooted in the community, just like us. Um, so as far as yeah, that's awesome. Your culture goes. They, um, you know, everything we stand for here with the Vans community. Uh, they um, sort of find the beer, the beer industry. It's really awesome. Yeah, yeah, and they Still. make, like, I don't know, I like all the IPAs for some reason. Like, I used to not really be into IPAs, but I think they just know how to make good IPAs and, like, just different styles, and you can taste the difference in them. In them. I'm not, like, an expert by any means, but I just know I'm, the taste is legit. <laughs> all the I'm biased, but um, we're, in my opinion, we are uh, definitely the top five brewery in San Diego, but I think a lot of other people have that opinion, too. Um, and prior to me being an employee, I, I was spending quite a bit of money on being there. Yeah. So that tells me everything. I definitely like quality. It's we, we've got a word version means to grow, so it's a, um, a nature themed um, plant or plant tree tree themed. Um, yeah. A lot of really good stuff. Our, our tasting rooms are um, are all uh, saturated with like. Um, uh, wood from what, a lot from one of our investors, so it's all reclaimed wood. We're, we're very uh, environmental friendly, and whenever you're in San Diego, anyone who's listening to this, come on by, come to Escondido. First, uh, first pints on me, unless we have like ten thousand people watching, then then I can't do that. But yeah, no, I'll get you a pint. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds confirmed. Uh, everyone, everyone who ever watches this can get a pint from Joey for free. You heard it here. Here we go. I uh, 
I don't know dick about beer. I uh, <laughs> I'm straight edge, so I've never drank. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Um, so I am in the dark. But people seem to enjoy it. The more power to you. I support it. It's a thing. Yeah. yeah I mean, I, I'm. It's there's a whole culture surrounding. You know, I lived in San Diego for a while, and so I'm. I was really, uh, you know, uh, surrounded right by the craft beer industry. Um, whether you like it or not, I think in San Diego you're you're there. Um, yeah. And then in Knoxville as well, when I was living, living in Knoxville, there's a lot of breweries out there too that are popping up. Um, and then here in Memphis, we have a few that are pretty popular, um, at least locally, I don't know, nationally. Again, I don't know shit about fuck when it comes to this. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, it's cool. I'm, I'm here for it. I'm, I'm drinking uh, our... Unofficial sponsor. I've got a unicorn tonight. Bang. Um, this is, uh, I never drank this before like two weeks ago or something, but it's like the fuel of my life now. So it, it's keeping me wired, keeping me happy. Um, yeah, Dave, Dave's, Dave's here tonight, which is dope. And he, he's got to get up in like three hours or something. He gets up before God. So shout yeah. out to Dave. Uh, for coming and joining us tonight. Good to see you, man. Um, all right. So should we just hop in? Let's see what we got going on tonight. Yeah, we got a, it's, a, it's a busy one. We've had a busy week, man. Yeah, man. We uh, promised a full agenda, and I think we're going to deliver on that this time. So. Yeah, I, I think we'll, we'll go. Um, we'll finish everything here, um, and we'll see how long it takes us. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll talk about it all. Yeah. It's a lot going on this week. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so um, well, what's new? What's new, guys? What are we thinking? What are we feeling? Mm-hmm. Third and what day is Third and what day is we're eight, uh, day, right? Yeah, we're in. Uh, if we want to go, yeah, we could we could jump into thirty one days. Um, we've we've been you know we've had a weekend. Um, and uh, it's been pretty cool. We've had a lot of really dope things posted. Um, you know, I, I do... So I do my highlights. I think, Bill, you do yours, like, day of, right? Like, as they post um, the day yeah. of? Well, to be told, Dave does most of the reposting of, like, the people stuff, right? So Dave helps me out. Thank you, Dave. And Shout out yeah, to so Dave. It's pretty much our thing, you know, but I, I do most of the, um, like... You know, advertising and stuff like that for like new stuff and whatnot. But gotcha. Like, okay. Dave, pick and choose. But we're on the same wavelength for the most part with stuff we pick. In fact, it's almost the same stuff as what everybody else is, you know, reposting as well. Right. Yeah. It's, we all have the same sort of eye, I think. Um, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. So I'll show. Um, <laughs> I'll show a few from. Uh, I do like day after highlights. So I'll. Today I did yesterday's highlights mm-hmm. and so on and so forth. So we can go through those, talk about them a little bit, and then we'll go over to uh, see what y'all have. Um, you and Dave have posted up, so uh, yeah. I'm trying to pull up the feed myself so I can see some of the stuff here. I'm doing it from the web browser, which is like kind of. I like today for me was Dave with the Slayers, man. Yo, the Slayers... You just don't see those anymore, you know? The Slayers were dope. Um, so, yeah, we can... Mm-hmm. So, I guess that's the best way to do this, so we can make sure we're looking at the same thing. Um, um, if you go, like, on Instagram.com, you yeah. can go, like, slash, forward slash tags, forward slash 31 days advance. But I think it's sorting it by top Yeah, post. it does it by top I on here. to sort it by newest posts, maybe. Yeah, it shows, but it, it does it by top on on but the. It's okay, there's most recent if you scroll down a little bit. Never mind. Oh, yeah. yep, there it is. Cool. Yeah. So um, cool. Sweet. So. View. Let's see, can we just go side to side? Yeah, we can go side to side here. Um, do you want to do some? Let's start with Kyle. Um, let's start with the man. Um, Kyle yeah. here with the. Uh, what were these? The Shaka. Shaka surfers, yeah, surf shakas, mm-hmm, yeah, yes. yeah. Really, yeah, surf shakas are pretty, pretty really cool. dope. Um, I saw. Did they do a skate high in this as well, or was it just the authentics? Yeah, there was skate highs and the authentic and a slip on, and then there was like that brown and orange colorway as well. 
Yeah, um, I saw someone else post them a, a day, day or so ago. The only significant thing I know about these is that Taka Hayashi designed the the logo. Oh, word! Then, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's at least that's the story. I've never confirmed it. You know, I've only met him like once or twice. So, but I think that's the yeah. It was one of his uh, artworks that he did for that season. Yeah, that tracks because he he did the uh, <clears throat> Skate Monkey too. Okay. Um, yep. So, so that's sort of like right on right on board there. Yeah. Right on track. Yeah. Pretty dope. When did it come out? Oh. What, 08, 09? Yeah, it's been a minute, man. Yeah. Been at least 10 oh, years. Maybe yeah. that's dope about those. Little detail on that is the rope laces. I mean, obviously the shoe's sick, but it's the the extra little detail, the rope yeah. laces. I, I like those. They're like the, 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 the thicker, you know? You're right, yeah. yeah. I love a good rope lace. I'm, I'm into those. Mm-hmm. Shaka Taka says Dave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, what's next? What do you What do you guys want to talk about next on here? Let's see. Let's see, I'm thinking. I'm looking at a couple more here. I'm, I saw one the other day that Tintin posted up. Probably you don't know Tintin. Tintin's my girlfriend. Tin, yeah. <laughs> Which one's from we were, Tin? We, we were like, you know, Eddie, Joe, and I are always like on like a group text, and we're always just chatting about random things, and we brought up like, like. Um, like her um, Disney post of the Mickey's, and we're trying to find them. We think they're from like two days ago or so. She posted up the red Mickey skate highs, the, the vault collection, which um, the vault collection came out before the general release of the um, like the Disney Advance uh, campaign, and then um, which kind of like we were got, got to talk about it, and I was like, oh, that'd be like a good cool little segue or story for the time when Vans um, posted an event like for the launch party of, of the Disney Advance ca- uh, collection and they um, there you go, I gotta pull it up private, now. yeah do you, do you can even are you trying to pull up her shoe yeah I pulled them up I got it on the, on the stream now. okay cool cool yeah like where they did an event at Disneyland and they ran it out like the whole there was like this like a uh, princess like fairy um, like I don't know where they would host like birthday parties and stuff inside this like venue over behind where they had like used to have the barbecue like buffet Behind um, Big Thunder Mountain. Big, oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, is that what that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, like they don't have it anymore, but yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, so do that. Yeah, it was like crazy because like back then when the when the release happened, which I, I have pictures of it up on under the palms, like under features. Like I, I just whenever something cool happened that I got invited to, like with Vans or something. I would like create like an actual feature and I just leave it there for like, you know, memory, just so I can go back and you know, refer people to it. Like right now, like it's a perfect example. Um, if you go in like on our website, like if, Eddie, you want to bring up Under the Palm? Yep, um, I'm pulling um, it up right now. Actually, just at underthepalms.com, but of course, uh, stuck under the palms, website yeah. for decades now. <laughs> uh, was that the Young at Heart release? Yeah, exactly, yep. And then you can just show people like some people, and people, everybody, you guys can just go to it whenever you feel like it. Um, but yeah, dude, that release was crazy. Like they actually served alcohol like inside, like in the Disneyland side of the park, which was unheard of back then. You know, they they never served alcohol in, in like in the actual you know, the main theme park only at California Adventure. Yeah, I forgot they did the the skate high car that they did it up in oh. in the, with the Mickey. You wrapped it up, yeah. So you got a picture there with Steve. Yeah, that was an awesome day. I was like, I don't, I was speechless, you know, I'm like, I'm there, I'm being treated like, like fucking royalty with guys like, you know, Matt Hatfield and stuff who are like, you know, right. like gods in, in the sneaker world, right, or yeah. like sneaker books in our industry, you know, if you scroll down, there's a picture of me that like, with like Matt and um, like some of the Vans PR people, but I got to like be like grouped up with like Steve Van Dorn for the whole day. That was kind of cool. Got to go around and like we have those like those chauffeurs that like take you to the front of the lines and right. shit. Right. So you don't gotta wait. And then yeah, dude, that was kind of cool, man. It was just yeah, that's a know, dope ass like, day. It's probably one of the best things that's ever happened. Like you know, with me and Vance, I would say. Well, I guess maybe not. Maybe with the waffle heads thing, but this is kind of <laughs> you know. It's hard to choose, <laughs> man. I mean, like I got this picture of you with with uh. Oh, yeah. well, let's see if it pops up here. I know, it's like a shrunken photo. Well, it won't load now. It's not I'm loading now. The, uh, the churro photo. 
Oh, yeah, with everybody's foot in there, you know. Yeah, everyone has to cheer up in there. If you <laughs> help, you know. Yeah. See if yeah, I can I pull it up. You know, it's weird. I, the, the photos are photos aren't popping up for me either. They're oh, like, I can shit. see the new ones, but... Okay, so that's because that's what happens when you switch, like, not servers, but when you switch themes and then yep. mess up your whole, uh, Shit gets lost. Man, I hate yeah, that. Yeah, dude, I hate that shit. It messes up my whole, uh, um, like, what do you call that, the, the, the photo albums and stuff on the website. <laughs> anyway, I'll fix it someday, but yeah, you can look it's at It's a lot of work. I've had to do that before. It's, like, such a pain <laughs> in the ass. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. But yeah, that, that was my attempt at a little member win stories. It was fun. It was good stuff. Yeah, super dope. I remember wa- watching uh, and like being so jealous, but like so happy, but like being like, "Damn, that's fucking dope." And I'm the type who gets, I I feel the jealousy. Like, oh man, I don't want to do this because, or I don't want to lay it on too thick, so right? Because I know it's gonna, like it's gonna hurt some feelings with people. I'm that way with like not really trying to share shoes that I get for free from people. Yeah, because, right. Yeah, you know, and, and that's why I don't post up a whole bunch of shoes and things like that. Also, too, because it's like, what if I owe people money or something when I'm still posting up? Right. Money? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they coming for you. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, so, man. Yeah. That just speaks to the hum- you're humble. You're a humble human being, man. And it just uh, speaks to that. Yeah, you're you're good, on, man. It's on the outside, man. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. The group chat. We, we, we uh, public keeps us anchored, but we're in the group chat um, to 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 brag and go off. Kyle in the chat, man. We were just oh, he he. I made an account just to let you know that I got the shotguns from Bill from one of the rack halls back in the day. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Those those shotguns we were just talking about, man, and he got the Mickey skate highs for me. Go figure, oh, Kyle. I uh, I may have something um, Disney related that uh, I can get you in the mail. Then you'll have something else from us. Um, I pro- I know I told you I was going to send you something like a minute ago. I promise it's it's coming. <laughs> I just I'm the worst when it comes to that. It's so bad. Like I don't know if y'all are the same way, but like if. If I'm selling something, it's like, yeah, I got to get this out the door right away. But if it's like a friend, man, it sucks because, like, I'm, I just drag my ass, right? It's not great, but sorry. I'll get it to you eventually. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got a coffee mug that I need to send um, to our one of our brewers. Uh, she moved to Hawaii, and um, I asked for her address probably, like, a little over a month ago. It's still sitting here. I can ship it. I've shipped probably 30 things uh, since then, but I don't know what. Kuhn in the chat as well. What's up, y'all? Look at like the, the OG TAEs here. Look at that. Yeah, Except man, for Craig. Like, Where's Craig? The whole crew is here. Craig, where are you? Hey, Craig, we're looking at you, brother. Craig, you know what? Craig will ask a question tomorrow about some release yeah. that we talked about today. That's yeah. how it'll. Ha- that's what'll happen. <laughs> and we'll say, Craig, we we'll give the silent treatment. We talked about it last night. Oh, I was gonna listen at work later. You know, something like that. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Anyway, back. Enough shit talk. Back to the uh, to thirty one days of vans. Um, we got here the bo. Were these bodegas concepts? Or neither. Wait. No, those, those are just vaults. What were the lucky? What am I thinking of? Um, like the, yeah, the bodega. Um, the lucky tickets, right? Or whatever. The, it was like. What was the name of that one? Dave probably knows. Scratchers or something like that? He has has those samples of the slip-ons. Dave, where you at? Let us know. The green pair. See these names don't ring a bell. Lucky something. I came with with that little scratcher ticket. Yeah, it was like Lucky something. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Oh, let's talk about this dude. Well, not this guy, but... This guy's just, it's a repost of, of Truest. Um, Lucky Seven, uh, okay. Thank uh, you, Dave, Dave said. Um, so Truest Hawaii. Bill, do you know Do you know that guy? Not personally, but obviously you can tell he's a fucking OG in the game. Big time. How much shit he has and his connections for what people bring to him to sell. Like he's got crazy fucking heat, like crazy. It heat. is wild. 
Yeah, so I, I never knew about them until, like, uh, like I, get, I think it was Rainier, you know, footage was talking about him or mentioned him saying oh and also to um remember uh, ryan skeet you know ryan aquino used to be in our group yeah group too he um he went to hawaii when they i guess they first opened and he was like texting me and showing me pictures like bro these guys got like syndicates and all this stuff here and this is like kind of at the beginning you know when it was just first opening but yeah dude it took off quick like you know obviously because hawaii is a destination spot right you know, the, yeah like vacation got money to spend and just want to drop in and yeah dude that guy's He's super cool, man. There's a pair of these. <laughs> this may be like eBay, what the fuck, but there's a pair of these slip-ons on eBay for like fifty thousand dollars or something like that. Oh, uh, right. It's yeah. crazy, you know. Like it's probably Dave's, but um, yeah, no. you know, he just posted up there just to flex. But yeah, it's like you see that some of the stuff this guy posts is just unreal. It's not, and it's not a lot of vans, right? It's it's a lot of like like Yeezys or like one of one nike sbs and like yeah, stuff like that it's just crazy yeah, sure. crazy stuff and yeah i mean i always wonder like dude how those connections is just it just blows me away when i see yeah, some of the stuff I give him credit for helping like like us out too like he always right. under the palms and stuff i'm like great yeah I'm same like, oh yeah man thanks for the fucking like validation right you know like, i remember when something coming from him like some guys like him when we followed him um like, I guess we followed him back or something, and he, like, tagged us, put, like, a screenshot of it and posted it, and it was like, finally, and I was like, holy shit, wow, I didn't, sorry. <laughs> we were definitely late. Uh, we, we were sleeping on you, Truist, but we don't, yeah. we don't know more, man. For sure, for sure. No, I'd, I'd definitely drop in there if I can, if, if I ever get to, you know. Some um, dope stuff, man. <laughs> Real dope stuff. It's cool we're getting a whole lot of people, you know, participating this year in, 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 uh, Oh shit! Here we go. Here's one we can talk about. A um, whole lot of new faces, you know, people who are participating, and um, these here from Waffle Kicks sixty six, the Stingrays. Um, those were uh, are are now so hard to find. I I've been watching a pair yep. uh, that's on a Japan auction mm -hmm. site, but it's like eight hundred dollars. <laughs> And I am not, you know, that ain't, I don't have $800 vault money for sure. I don't think they're worth $800, but, um, you know, these are crazy nice, man. Yeah, material-wise, they might be worth that in the future, especially since Vans doesn't use, like, real animal, right. like, hides or anything anymore. Stuff like that, you yeah. Know, they lost money on that shoe because, like, they didn't oh, really sell out until they went on sale. You know, right, were there? Dave, Dave got his pairs on sale. You know, three colors. I'd probably pick it up for retail. Two, two, black two color. The black green. and this red color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Retail was two fifty or three hundred. Like three. Yeah, like three I want to say it was like right around there, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Th th those are crazy. Those are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kuhn said this is the highest retail price that he can remember, and I think that is on U.S. stuff. Um, yeah. there was that one pair, or maybe the, the two. How much were the ostrich chuckas? Do you remember those? Those were hella expensive, too. Irwin's the only one there. Irwin has them. Right, Irwin, Irwin has them. Speaking of Irwin, shout out to Irwin, yeah, man. I think up there, too. Miss, miss the king. I know, man. King. Miss you, bud. The king. Stop by a van so he can start spending money on his, um, on his, uh, on, the, on that, uh, his, um, our, our, what is it? Ambac? Uh, the Fiat, Abarth. Abarth, that's what it is, the Abarth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a dope, dope mm -hmm. car. I know what that's like. You got, you got too much shit, too many things you want to put money into. I just bought a motorcycle two days ago, so I, uh, oh, right, I, I guess I haven't talked about that. Yeah, I bought a motorcycle two days ago, so I, um, I, yeah, I'll be, throwing money into that eventually cool um so you know nice. what would you pick up like what kind of bike oh i got a uh what kind of bike a harley sportster 48 um i could throw a picture oh, here okay Damn. saw the electric one the other day that one's pretty sweet is that a harley yeah the like harley just made an electric one yeah yeah they've got a they've got an electric now um it's like Thirty thousand dollars or something like that. It's, it's crazy. It's expensive. Yeah. Um, yeah. but yeah, mine's a twenty twenty one. 
Right. Meanwhile, I'm over here riding riding my niece's uh, Honda One Ten <laughs> up and down the street. Bro, I've never been on a motorcycle before, so it's going to be a learning. It's you definitely going to be license? learning. What's up? Can you get your license? No, not yet. I, uh... Here we go. Bike, no license. Um, so, yeah, so I, I, uh... I actually start my, my riding class tomorrow, um, and I'll pick it up on Sunday. Um... So yeah, it's a it's a used bike, but it only has two hundred miles on it. Still has factory warranty, so I'm happy. They're replacing the fender; had a little ding on it. Um, so, did you get that color? No, I got a black. Got to be black. But I'm gonna wrap it. Um, I'm going to wrap it. Uh, Cafe Racers, Kian. Cafe Racers. Um, I'm gonna wrap it. I think I want to do like a camo, a camo wrap on the on the tank. Um, just because, yeah. you know, BDUs. Or, you can actually get, like, you, you can get, like, actual, like, uh, multi-cam wrap, too. Like, Yo, that would be dope. A, a good multi-cam. You can do, like, the black multi-cam. You know, so I am, or, I'm into that idea a lot. I'm doing a, check, a checkerboard wrap. Oh, yeah. I, so, my, I got a helmet. I think I'm going to do a checkerboard helmet. Um, mm -hmm. It's a white helmet that I'm going to have someone do a checkerboard on there. Um, Back to the back to shakas yeah, right, again. Right. We got got that. Um, yeah. So I got a motorcycle now. So that's cool. Yeah. Um, but you know. So yeah, I, I can I can relate. I think to uh, spending money on too many things at once. <laughs> I, I'm right there with you, Erwin. If you can hear this, buddy. Um, yeah. So 31 days is going well. Um, I think it's it's been a hit. Um, so I'm gonna pull up. Joey's uh, post from today uh, got the PBR um, mids. So I love what you're doing, by the way, Joe, with that whole like you know, with with like putting like you know a special release beer or something mm. with each shoe. That's that's super cool. I haven't really seen that before. And yeah, it's dope. Different beers to feature. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely have enough. I have enough beer at the house. Um, and it's catching on because I have actually have quite a few people like uh, ask me about like what brewery is that, mm -hmm. which is why if you if you notice in the, in the location setting, whatever yeah. beer I use, I use there. Oh, oh yeah, they're in their, their, their location. Okay, that's yeah, dope, dude. Yeah, um, and and today I featured a couple friends of mine over at Harlan. I've taken Bill to Harlan. Love um, Harlan. Hate that I can't ever get the release. Oh, and. You Sorry, I, Sorry. I know, but you know, you know. No, no, say no. that again. Um, no, it's just been it's it's, uh, it's been a slow. I don't really check hashtags. I don't use hashtags normally. And truth be told, my my profile is typically private, but for thirty one days of bands, I at the public. Um, I might keep I might keep it public, but. Um, See if it catches on more, but but it's been nice to be able to kind of point people in different directions of different beers, um, especially here in Southern California with how many great breweries we have and a couple of the ones like from Arizona and some of the ones from uh, other states as well. So it's it's been nice to it's been really nice to feature, and it's and it's cool. But something I I. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know where I can take it, but, but, I'll, but I'll keep posting um, an iPhone quality photo with uh, <laughs> with an even better beer and a cool pair of shoes. Keep doing it. Hey, <laughs> keep keep it on. Keep on. Keep it on, man. It's dope. I like it. Um, Thanks, dude. So, yeah. So the the PBR vans. Um, I know we wanted to talk about some like interesting releases right like not just like hey come to the store and per pick these up um you know stuff like that that's cool right whatever but these were uh, the first that i know of maybe there were others before that there probably were but my memory is not good like that um that had a really interesting release um i think it was the mids first right no, the authentic. No. Yeah, the authentics were yeah. first. Yeah, at the end of twenty, um, towards the end of twenty fifteen, they had the authentic come out, 
and they did it kind of this, the the similar way that they did with the mid. So you you went on their site, they they announced it, and you clicked like um throughout their website, and then like if you clicked on the right thing, you were able to. It took you to a form, you filled out the form, you submitted it, and I want to say like two or three weeks later, boom, you got a big package from PDR. Yeah. Uh, and that that first set was really cool. It was uh, um. Really nice customized box, mm. pair of socks, and I want to say it was a set or two of laces. Really cool. All that stuff in a uh, giant box, like a snowboard boot box. Yeah. So it didn't make a ton of sense, but um, a really cool item. I was able to get a pair. Caitlin has a pair. My wife. Uh, um, Bill, I'm sure you. Yeah. You really I, I think I, I ended up with three total. Wow! I bought one. I traded Tom Thompson. He he hooked me up with like a pair for ten or something. So I have three of those box. You know the big boxes. The boxes are dope. And um, yeah, that was the and it, I think it was super cool. Everybody was like, it was like a scavenger hunt. They had like a little tiny like icon of the shoe, and you had to search all over the site. They told you what time it was gonna come out. Oh no, it was a right. like a Twitter thing where as soon as they mentioned right. it, it was like, all right, go run and look, you know. And then everybody would get on the site and then. Oh shit! I found one, or like, oh shit! No, it's too late. You know, they would they would tell you if they were all found already. You know, for the day. And you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but they also did it like in like I almost said in person, but like in real life too, right? They would they like did. they posted like a picture somewhere of like the vans at like a beach yeah. or something, or like a scavenger hunt in real life. Yeah, right. Like the, van, the the PBR reps, like you know, they would bring it to like a local like one of their uh, like um, like bars that you know was like a pbr stock or ambassador type bar and they would hook them up with like a pair to like give away to whoever showed up for right and, and claimed it you know really cool stuff um i wish they did more shit like that you know but and they were free that was the thing that you didn't have the authentics nobody bought them it was all all like, free cool. but then they learned that yeah. they, they had something there so they got us all for those skate mids for like what like 150 a pair so they were kind of Kind of high. Yeah, they were like. You had to buy. No, you had to buy two hundred dollars or one fifty. Right. Yeah, they were free with purchase. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) That's why I had like three footballs and like you know. (laughs) It was like it was random. I have I still have shit in the ground. Yeah. Um. (laughs) I like like the mids way better. Yeah, I'm a. I think think they're a little bit more creative. I'm a mid. Big mid fan, anyway. I actually have the mids as a uh, one of the one of those. It's last year I bought a a big a big um, like a collector. A friend of mine who I was in the navy with, um, uh, he was getting rid of a bunch of stuff, and I bought basically everything that he was selling um, for like a really really good price, and um, I'm still. Most of it's not my size, um, some nine nines, nine and, nine and a halfs, and then tens, a couple tens. But um, that one of the yeah. pairs is is the mids, these the the PBR mids, and um, they're dope. I like them. They're uh, mids are always a win for me. Uh, so yeah. it's pretty cool it's stuff. Mm-hmm. Rare and limited. That's our that's our steed. And then they, um, I, I don't think we have a picture of these. I should have pulled one up, but the Michelin vans. Oh yeah, couldn't even get just to be a kid or something to sign that where you're supposed to be like in driver's ed or, or you know something along those lines where they ask you how old you were and stuff. But I don't know. Then I started seeing a bunch of pairs randomly all over eBay for like four or five hundred bucks. Yeah, here's a pair on Mercari for five hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. It's just because like one or two people put that price, so then everybody thought it was worth that price. Looks like they have. There's an old school and a skate high. Well, I didn't know uh, that. I think, but yeah. you only ever really. Which ones do you move? You mostly see old schools, I think. Huh? That's what I thought. Yeah, but I'm here on the. Uh... Yeah, this got to be a product picture. Yeah, the old school and the skate high. Yeah, it is. They just have the skate mm-hmm. high for sale. Um, I remember I was like late to this, and I. I, uh, I, I tried to get them, but. I emailed them and like now we're out. So this is only a one one of a hundred, so I don't know. That's 
obscure. The driving test. That's what it's called. There's mm -hmm. a pair for... There's seven pair... Uh, men six, women seven and a half. If you're interested, um, all the mm -hmm. awesome things for eighty four bucks uh, right now on on eBay. So um, that's more like it. Yeah, that's a good new. price. I mean, they it says new with box. They look a little, yeah. be, a little. Man, maybe they're just well, some things. Yeah, like wear box yeah. wear looks like. Um, yeah, if you're a size six, if you can wear those, hit them up. Um, let's see what else they have. The test were a uh, giveaway of a hundred pairs. Yeah, a hundred yeah. pairs. Yeah. And this person's got seven of them in one size. So, however that worked, go figure. Go figure, right? Yeah, I'm not scrolling through all their stuff, but um, yeah, cool stuff. Well, here's some Hot Wheels for you, Michelin Hot Wheels for you. Uh, Bill. Oh, dang. That's all me. Also into Hot Wheels. So. Fucking Hot Wheels, <laughs> um, Yeah, so those are I'm some cool started. cool releases. Yeah, I wish they did you know, more stuff like that. Um, I, I, I mean, I get that it's not... You can't just give away free stuff all the time. Uh, I totally understand, mm. but that's a lot of fun, you know? It, 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 it really... Really... I don't know, it gets me excited for as a collector, you know, because it's not just like, oh, here, click this and buy this, here, click this and buy this, which is cool, like, it's totally accessible, I, we can talk about, like, how raffles go one of these days, um, <laughs> versus, mm -hmm. like, camping and stuff like that, uh, uh, but, you know, I, I miss stuff like that, and it's cool that Vans even does things like that, has in the past, and does them, you know, even now, I mean, you look at what what company does you know twenty five pair runs or you know whatever they just don't you just don't see that yeah so you know hopefully more of that Vans if you're listening give us some more <laughs> some more cool uh, scavenger hunts and there's more examples we can bring up in the future too we, there's other ones that were really cool yeah too. if you uh, if you know of any yeah. cool ones um, maybe some stuff that flew under the radar because I. We'll talk about some stuff tonight that I did not know was coming out, um, mm -hmm. and so we'll talk about that. But that's a good segue into our, you know, what's coming, what's coming next, um, mm -hmm. upcoming releases. You know, I think one of the big ones that folks are excited about. Um, the uh, the Patas. Lache. Pata Black Cat, third release, right? Mm -hmm. Which are lazy. Those are lazy. It's, uh, you kind of feel like it's sort of a money grab because it's, you know, well, then again, you just think that with the path of Black Cats anyway, because ever since the first one, the second one, it's like it, right away you see them, a lot of them go up for sale and, you know. Oh, yeah. They all pull like 300 bucks a pair at least, you know. Yeah, they're still, um, they, they have resale value to this day. Um, yeah. You can't find one of them, at least not that I've found anywhere, um, that is something I would be willing to pay for. I'd love to have a pair of these. I'd dig them. I like them. Um, but I, I, I'm not paying that much for them. Um, you know, <laughs> it's just maybe not. Because it, maybe the last the release wasn't as popular, the last Path to Collab, the, the, the roster type or not. I forget which one that was. Um, but um yeah so, highs, right? yeah, yeah nice. right and i don't know they had a couple of releases that were just okay i guess but now they're this is kind of like i i think the the core demographic that buys their vans i mean it's cool it, i don't know it kind of takes away of like for me like how cool patha is and like their reputation in like sneaker culture you know right. but I don't know. I mean, because you can't always judge the success of a shoe by how it resells. Right. You know, we we look past that, like us three. But you know, a lot of people out there will wear it because of its value or because of the hype behind it. You know. And I mean, they're I definitely. Pat like at shop is one of my favorite like streetwear stores. I've yeah. been to Amsterdam. I've been to the store. The staff's awesome. Um, a pair of of uh, the green Air Maxes. Bill, you got a pair, right? Oh, oh man, those are I, yeah the denims right. Ooh. The denim with the green. 
shit. Yeah, those, those are so yeah. hot. Had a chance to actually get the um, like chloroform, the, chlorophylls. Not, what are they called? Uh, it, it was the purple denim one. Kind of limited. I think okay. like one of the stores over like you know in Europe was like they had like random sizes, and I just I saw it and I never bought it. I went back like the next day, it was gone because it was all around the time that shoe released, you know. And dude, oh, speaking of that like denim pair, the one that was like the the GR or the Quick Strike that everybody like all the boutiques got. Like I think my cousin Mike was working at the outlet at the time, so he had a, I, I got a sushi count from him. Yeah, I got, those, I got those for like like ninety bucks, I think. Oh. Like, they were only like one hundred or one ten, or maybe they were one fifty. I got them for a hundred, but shit, that was nice because yeah, they they dropped them online. They were on actually like Nike's website. Now those are oh, yeah. heaters to this day, man. Um, and a shout out to Beatnik from my other pair. Yeah, I had two of those. Beatnik. <laughs> oh, Beatnik. I got a Beatnik Ebbets somewhere. Shout out to Blend's spelling. Mike. <laughs> Beatnik. So, yeah, so seven. I think I, I, caught a, I caught a pair at the rack. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. That was a come up for sure. So, with, the, with this release, um, seven different pairs. Um, yeah, that's why I think I, I'm saying money grab. It's not to be disrespectful, but look at this. They, they fucking like loaded the whole thing up. Give you three skate highs and four old schools. Four old school, plus apparel. Um, yeah, exactly. This is a big one, man. And so it, it definitely seems like there, or, or definitely is clear that they will have a wider release of the black, the white, the almond is what they're calling it. And the high risk red, um, those will have a wider release. But it looks like the the pink and the f- frost gray is the color, and the salute black, um, which is looks like navy. Which I guess is navy. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, those are pata uh, pata exclusives. So um, if you want those, those will be the Let's only places to get them. Exclusives. Got yeah. to. Um, Old schools are 100 euros, so what? that's like 115 bucks or something like that, 110, something like that. I like uh, that it's a vault silo, so a VLT. Very happy with the, the VLT, yeah. yeah. Um, the apparel's pretty cool. It, they did a really cool, um, the, the, the marketing for this is dope. Uh, I really like the pictures that they took. Um, socks yeah. are dope, too. Cool? Yeah, the socks are sick. Too. Yeah, they're gonna do good. So they'll they'll do well. These will sell out. I mean, they could have fifty pair and fifty <laughs> different pairs, and they they'll sell out. These are we talked about a little bit um, in in their in chat, um, but like these are super popular in Asia, mm-hmm. like Southeast Asia. And those cats love these things, man. I wonder if it was I mean, if any inspiration to that, or just just happened, you know. To- yeah, I, I would. I would really like to know what what the. I mean, they're dope. I think they're cool, but um, it's like crazy that I, I I see they're like super super fans down there, which is yeah, dope. Yes. More One power to our, them. Uh, homies from the South Pacific. Yeah, let's have Kadir yeah. Warriors. Where are you at? T- tell us what's yeah. up. What, why does Why does everyone love these down there? Hit us up. Let us know in the chat. Um, let us know in the comments I if you know why. Yeah, there's it's a bar and. Um, Austin, Texas. So I don't. That well, that really help us. no, yeah, no yeah. real connection. <laughs> That's what I, I googled it in case there was some kind of. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's money, like the money cat, right? Maybe that yeah. was. Maybe there's yeah. Like, yeah. Some, some kind of symbolism with that, but no, no Google search. Someone help me out. You talk to the guys at Pat, they're like, "Yeah, we were in Austin, Texas." <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, like, holy shit. <laughs> That's exactly it. Uh, P- Pinoy Boy yeah. Wonder said, um, "It's the uh, big bold logo." That he guesses. Uh, um, yeah. yeah, I think that could be it. Uh, That's, that may be true. Okay. Okay, I get that. Is uh, Lyman correct? Thank you, Lyman. Lyman out there killing it. Welcome back, Lyman. Mm-hmm. I had to Google it, and it didn't tell me it was the big logo, Lyman. I'm sorry. My bad. You're not connected to the streets, Joe. That's fine. Got to get your get your ear to the to the to the ground, man. 
So what else is coming? What else do we got to, to look forward to? Um, well, we... I just got signed out on my iCloud, so hold on, I'm getting back in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got the list here, too. Uh, we got the the Mad Happies. That came out of left field. I got an email this morning for those Mad Happies in the second colorway. The navy pair. The second colorway is very hot. These are dope. And, yeah, that's another classic colorway co like combo right there. That, that'll do good. Especially, you know, people who are sleeping on the first color, you know, or just the release in general, like, right. uh, you know, I was telling a friend, you know, telling, um, I was talking to a buddy, and I was like, I, I honestly never heard of Mad Happy before the Vault Collab, which is what happens with bands, you know, I, we're always introduced to new things, but, like, to see how quick it sold out, you're like, okay, all right, these guys. Bro, yeah, like, like a minute. They have a following. They like, were gone, bro. Stuff like nothing. Uh, and with the collaboration happening this uh, this quick, yeah. It kind of makes me think that uh, they've got another pair or Maybe. more stuff. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this, yeah. Was, this, this was too quick to be like, hey, that first one was such, such a great success. <laughs> right, and let's now, push another pair up. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like there was just a shipping delay from the <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. They couldn't get any, uh, any longshoremen to offload the box. Yeah. Yeah. There's, they were stuck in the, do the, the strip. The strip yeah. Where the, Oh yeah, that's like e Egypt or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Clayton and Clayton and I were saying on on Instagram. Um, Clayton, uh, shout out to Clayton wearing waffles. Um, on Instagram, we were like, "Yo, can't we can't let these ones slide again?" Because I, I mean, I didn't get the first pair. I wanted them, but I didn't think they w they sold out from the time that I saw them drop. I posted on on Instagram, "Hey, available now," and then they were gone, bro. <laughs> um, and so I'm not doing that. Sorry, y'all. Y'all, you're gonna have to. I'll get mine first. I should know better, right? I should know better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a rookie move. But you know, these ones I'm not playing yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. A true sneakerhead buys his first and then tells everybody else after. Exactly. Speaking of, mm -hmm. speaking of, Bill. Shout out to Bill from last stream. Saturday. The uh, mm -hmm. the the Ubix here, um, the Perfect Vs. These are dope, dude. I didn't. These were these came out during my hiatus, I think, because I didn't even know about these. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's t-shirt material. It feels like super soft. Huh? Like, yeah, it's like a terry French terry on the inside. They're dope. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Shout out. I got the last size ten. Sorry, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> and the the tags on the outside. Right. Oh yeah. Oh wow, it's got like a, yeah, a thing in it. Yeah, yeah, it's like the little flyer that talks about it. Yeah, Ubix last collaboration, a pack of three classic Vans Vault styles to use as your blank canvas. Draw on, die, and customize to make your own. We threw in memorabilia of our brand history, including pins and patches that nod to our Philly pride. Forever Ubik. Hashtag Forever Ubik. Did I get any pins? I don't think I got any pins, man. I didn't get any pins, man. These are on fire. They're like, no, I don't know. Dope. I'm going to have to look up the other, uh, the other ones. Oh, I got the... Uh, oh, palaces. So these went quick too, man. I got the pinks. I'm gonna see the the pretty dope. The scab. Boop. There it is. Got the little duck cut out. Pretty dope. So we were talking. That's the first time they've done that, right? There's ever that's been a key change. That shit came with a keychain. Oh, you didn't oh, see shit. that? Oh shit! Yeah. Uh, I didn't see it was actually like rubber. I thought it was a sticker. Oh. Okay. Shout out to the very first Strictly Vans keychains if you have them. Yeah. It that feels exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, so that's the first uh, the first time that that heel scab's been modified like that, right? I can't think of another release. Not like I, I don't think I've ever seen it like 3D, like you know, cut out it and out of a rectangle. 
Right, yeah. I mean, there's there's like custom heel, heel scabs, you know, but um, yeah. not like the, that's not a rectangle. So that's mm-hmm. that's pretty dope. And and quick. I got them quick. Um, got them pretty quick. So happy. Shout out to the palace folks. I'm glad I was able to get them. There was a lot of salt. <laughs> a lot of salt on Instagram. F's in the chat for those who were not able to uh, yeah. to secure their pairs. But Joey, I think you you might be you're, you're hunting a couple pairs, right? You're you're watching a few. Yeah. Yep. On stock on the old stock X, I'm not paying more than uh, like 120 ship for them, and I'll get them. They yeah. dropped like 40 bucks today. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they were. I think I paid like I think it was like 103. I think is how much I paid for retail. I don't I don't remember something like that. Um, yeah, glad to have them. Money. What's coming out, coming out next? They want money for that neighborhood. Yeah. Got to get th- those came out today, right? I think they dropped today. Um, they, the they neighborhood are, stuff. Uh, or wait, today or tomorrow? Friday. Really? I think it's t- well, yeah. So Japan Friday time. Yeah. It's Friday in Asia, right? Or parts of Asia. So yeah. Yeah. Or I guess everywhere in Asia it's Friday now, but. Um, they, th- there's a U.S. release plan for those two, as far as I know. It says date slated for July 10th at select retail stores. That's according to IDs. Oh, July 10th. So that would be Saturday, Saturday. right? Yeah. 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 But I know end end of the um, the launch for them. Was it was it a raffle? US, yeah, I don't know any other U.S. site that's getting them. I tried to call. Um, Dark Top Initiative in San Francisco, and they didn't want to pick up their phone. Yeah, well, shocker. <laughs> That's how right, it goes. Right. Yeah, so we think maybe Dark Side. Right. Dark Side might get them. Um, <laughs> Feature has a neighborhood account. Anybody's wall account. Union, maybe. No. Yeah, shops like that, right. maybe. So we'll see. We'll uh, keep an eye on our on our Instagrams. Um, on the grams, we'll post up whenever we can. We got a visitor here. You on the stream, bud? Baby's first stream. Um, cool. Yeah. So the we got totally sidetracked there, but the Mad Happies are gonna drop on t- the thirteenth. That's a Tuesday. Strange day for a drop, but I'll take it. I'll be at work watching my computer screen, so I'll. I'll you're not getting away from me uh, this time, buddies. So those will be dope. Um, <laughs> Other stuff uh, that's that just dropped. Uh, I don't know if you saw these, but these GR, um, the Wayne Goodall stuff that came out, um, or Wade Goodall. Pardon me. Uh, I think it just dropped today. I got an email about it. Um, it's all SF stuff. Uh, cool surf pack stuff. Yeah, it's on the website, right? Yeah. So- it's on uh, advanced.com. Um, That's the one that has like the. Is, was there. Um, let's see, was that the one that had a tie dye set with it too? No, that was another one. It was like a dark tie dye part of the surf collection. Yeah, this Maybe is. Um, there's two. Or I guess three. There's a, a slide, a, a 138 Decon SF, yeah, a yeah. Destruct SF, and a slip. Oh, four, sorry. Four footwear right. and a slip on okay. SF. Cool cap. I like the cap a lot. Um, it's just a Vans corduroy cap. Mm-hmm. Snapback, though, or um, whatever. Adjustable. I can't dig. I, I got to have a, a fitted. I love my fitteds. For, mm-hmm. By the way, fitted check. What do we, what do we got? What do we got today? I'm, I'm, I'm rocking the same undefeated Bosox MLB collab as last time. I didn't change it up. Joe, what you I see I see your five strikes. Yeah, got, got the classic yeah, five strikes. Been defeated. I like this one. It's got the I'm oh, sorry, sorry about that. The American flag on the side. In the uh, sadly the the Dodger blue colorway, which isn't my colorway, but uh, boo. It's good. But it's boo. Yeah. No, no, that looks fine. <laughs> and then, and then I just I just got this one in the mail. The uh, born and raised. Um, born X raised. Uh, yeah. yeah. The Dodgers. Let's see, I get the focus there. Is that like, Oh, the okay. Layers, That's like, dope. Yeah. yeah, so they, they did like a collab, you know, both. Like, I don't know, like, I I, barely, I have a couple Born and Raised stuff. Like, I don't know, I don't buy too much um, 
you know, apparel and stuff anymore, but I love their collabs just because they're, they're like, totally, like, L.A., you know? The stuff that yeah. they do. Even their latest one they just did with, um, like, Power Tools, right? So I grew up, like, listening to, like, you know, uh, like, radio mixes on DJs on Fridays and Saturday nights with DJ Richard Humpty Vision. He, he, like, yeah. He's, like, a house DJ, a real popular house DJ. And he was, like, one of their main headliners. And my, my buddy, Eddie, that was another Eddie that I was talking to. Shout out to that hey, man. shout out he to was, Eddie. And, <laughs> yeah, he, he, sometimes I post up his van stuff he does. It goes by Duff, man. But he, um, he he was, like, messaging me, like, because I had, like, reposted it. And he's like, you want to go? Like, on Friday? And I was like, only if Richard Huntington is DJing and like, not even thinking that, like, he was going to be part of the thing. And then he posted, like, oh, dude, you got to watch the video. It, it actually mentions him. And I, was, like, I went and watched it. I was like, oh, shit. Like, <laughs> I, I, I'm not going <laughs> to. Probably still not going to go. But that's pretty dope, though. Yeah. Oh, that's sick, he, man. He, 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 Bad brand. Yeah, we're out brand. They're like yeah. Venice, Vent, OGs, Sick yeah. brand. A little, Shout out to Santo, man. He's got some cool shit. Cool idea. Yeah. I like it. A little on the expensive side. Yeah, I was gonna buy the power tools too. It was like forty eight bucks. I'm like, I I don't have room for another team in my closet right now. So Bro. I'm like, it's easier to say no. Now if it was empty, I I definitely be loading up with you know ridiculous t shirts I probably won't wear. Huh? Well, I tell you, sometimes I'd be looking for reasons not to buy stuff. I'll this be is like, the first time ah. I wore like Noah fucking pocket tee. I don't even really like wear stuff like this. I just wear pants all the time. Like, <laughs> yes. I'm gonna be on this camera in a fucking high def fucking view and shout out to Noah. Yeah, the, you know? yeah, it's a fifty dollar t shirt. So I'm what? Like, Joey, you got me to fucking this shit. I don't even wear this time. <laughs> no, I didn't know it was a spring off from from Supreme. Yeah. 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 A lot of people, kind of like our like our podcast, everyone went right, we're going left. Yeah. And that's what, I know Noah is a big brand, and I'm not trying to they don't have their own following and stuff like that. Oh, but yeah. I like their stuff, and they're looking right. They got a message. Yeah, they got a message behind their shit. They're doing something with that's a That's what I really yeah. like about them, man. Yeah. When there's something that means something, not just because it has a brand on it or something. Right. You know what I mean? Like, what's your connection to it, or, you know, like, do you really support that brand, you know, even if you don't know the people? Like, I don't know, that's, that's my belief nowadays. Yeah. There's so much shit being thrown at you left and right, you know, you kind of just get numb to all of it, and you know, and especially you see, like, the mentality of, like, just kids wearing labels, and you're like, I'm yeah. just not that, you know? <laughs> and that's like, you know, someone who talks a lot about that is 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 uh, Bobby Hundreds, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, like he's he talks a lot about that, and, like, like you know, consciousness of design and stuff like that, and, and I think as far as brands go, man... Noah is is one of them that does it really 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 well. Um, I mean they're they're an expensive brand, right? But it's quality yeah. and 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 like they they know their worth, I think, and they um, they they give a lot back. You know, they're always doing some sort of of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like project or or like some sort of thing for um, you know for other people or for other organizations or movements or something like that. So. Big shout out to Noah if you ever see this. One percent for the planet business as well. Yeah, that and they they did um. There they did a, a hurricane relief tea like that that we that I posted right. This was a couple couple years back, but that was like the first first one I saw. They did a hurricane relief tea. They just recently did something too, like last week or maybe this week. Um, oh, maybe it was last week because today would have been the drop date. Um, uh, but yeah, no, a cool brand. Um, do do more yeah. stuff with Vans. Do do another yeah. Vans release. Maybe less crazy, wacky stuff. Maybe some more just simple stuff for guys like yeah. you. Yeah, know. Some, something a little, <laughs> a little quiet, man. You know, get us, hook us up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we want to talk about a leak. So, yeah. So ASAP was oh, was. Uh, yeah. Uh, photographed wearing some mules, and I, this picture here, I don't know if this is, if this is a mock-up or what it is, but, um, the picture really was, it just looked like a a pair of white slips with some flames on the side, I'm sorry, white mules with some flames on the side, um, so, yeah, I guess maybe that's coming soon, coming sometime, maybe never coming, who knows, I I haven't, this is the first I'd heard of it. So who's gonna be first in line to go get him? Yeah, not me. 
sure. Joe's already there. They're, they're fire. Literally. Right. Fire. Shout out to <laughs> Ginger Pubes on Instagram, um, who's now on the chat, or not in the chat, but on the stream. Um, he said, it's cool, wish only that the rest of the back was there. Uh, yeah, so that would be a slip-on. Wouldn't be a mule, but... Um, uh yeah, uh, Clayton yeah. says Pack Sun exclusive. I don't know if pa- I don't know if Pack Sun's a thing. I don't know if Clayton is is joking or not. Um, maybe he is. I don't know. But uh, the uh, I did reads. what 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 was the uh, uh, our local malls? I the Pack Sun here maybe closed. Fear of God, oh, fear of God level. it's only online only. Yeah, I was gonna say Fear of God. They um. They they released there. So Clayton says no joke. Rocky is a uh, guest artistic director for Pack Sun right now. So there you go. Um, right. From uh, the mouth of uh, wearing waffles. Um, yeah, that's cool. So we'll see about that. Um, so that means definitely not a vault though. So I'm probably out. Uh, yeah. Too bad. Oh, it was announced on IG today. Oh, okay. Got it. We were sleep. We've been slept. That's what it is. What kind of podcast are we even? Uh, we do all this like we 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 do all our preparation at least the day before the podcast, and then we don't look at anything else all day long. So yeah, that's what it is. He said, "Go to Paxson's page. Let's go find Paxson real quick." Well, while you're doing that, I guess here's a good segue for uh, for Clayton. Uh, end of the month, Clayton's going to be, uh, and Eddie, we're both coming out to California. Dave's going to shoot over from Phoenix as well. Um, you know, first week of August, we're going to have a get-together, a little hangout, um, have a meet-up. We're still trying to work that out with um, with Jules and with Blends, um, having a meet-up at Custom Mesa. We were first talking about maybe trying to do something at the new San Diego location, but you know, do like a, a, a cool little thing in the new shop that they're moving into. Yeah. Right now, if you haven't been to Blend San Diego for a minute, they're um, they're they're still in like a temporary location while they're building out the new store. But um, that's I, I don't know. I guess we can't really make that happen for some reason. So, well, uh, I think right now the goal is trying to have a little waffle head meet and greet at uh, Costa Mesa. We'll figure it out. We'll see what's going to happen. We don't. It's not all set in stone, but just. The weekend is set in stone. It's going to happen that weekend, wherever it's right. going to happen. Even if it's like at a local meetup spot, if it ends up not being there, it's yeah. Covered, but if we got to go, if you guys are down to come and hang out with us. It's going to be, um, you know, the that uh, end of first week of August, which will be the seventh. August seventh, the, the Saturday. 7th. Yeah, we'll do it Saturday the seventh. Yeah. Even if we got to go battle yeah. the uh, the car guys at a, at a car wash somewhere, um, we'll uh, yeah, yeah, we'll meet up. Um, you're, you're, Clayton, you're coming in on Wednesday, I believe. Dave's coming in on Friday. Eddie, what day are you heading into? I'll be there night? Thursday. I'm coming in on the Thursday? 5th. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And in the night at IHOP. Yeah, because y'all don't got no damn Waffle Houses in California. Whack. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll be at yeah. IHOP. That's funny. Um, just, like, just like last time, 2017. Yeah, so it'll be dope. We'll have some stuff planned. We'll do... Uh, yeah, we'll we'll figure. It. We'll, we'll have we'll have confirmation by next. I know we said this last stream. We'll have confirmation by next stream, um, for sure, for sure. Uh, but definitely plan if you want to come hang out for Saturday the seventh. More information to follow on that. Uh, Looking forward to it, guys. Could be fun. So if you guys have yeah, time, dope. anybody else, come and plan to hang out with us like that evening or afternoon or whatever on Saturday, August seventh. Yeah, Joe can't or come. Days before. You know. Joe gonna be on that daddy duties. Oh no! Yeah, definitely gonna be on daddy duties. That's cool. We'll, we'll swing by, say hello to little to the little one. Yeah. Bring bring some vans or something. We need all the support. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't changing no diapers though. That's for sure. Um. Cool. All right. So yeah, yeah we got Pax on here. Um, looks like there's gonna be a black pair as well. These look like. Like a, a half moon? I don't know. Um, you know, I guess we'll see. More power to him. Good on you, ASAP. Uh, 
we'll see what what comes from that. But yeah, I mean the Fear of God stuff that was. I mean you can't you can't buy a pair of those for less than five hundred dollars still. So um, I guess we'll see what happens with that. Interested to see what happens. Um, Does yeah. Rocky have it like Jerry Lorenzo? Man, I I don't mm. know. They got flames. We call what do we call Ace Rock? Oh, Jerry Uncle Jerry, but what do we call it? Oh, man, mm. we'll have to come up with something. Yeah, cousin we're Rocky. Not on the fly type stuff. Yeah, cousin. Cousin Rocky. Rocky. That's the cousin. <laughs> yeah. So that's me, y'all. Um. Yo, so we have uh, uh, some some recent band stuff. Um, this year the yeah, musician really? musician wanted is pretty dope. Yeah, we want to sprinkle in like band stuff. So every once in a while, bands will send information out like. Obviously, like under the palms is mostly about like sneakers, limited, and whatnot. But sometimes, you know, the, the friends that band send me stuff about like just standard bands news. And this this was pretty cool. It's like the second year they've been doing this thing, the uh, musicians wanted competition. And it's I guess it's like the the continuation of what I guess you know Warp Tour was, where it's like introducing new artists, you know, um, up and coming, you know, acts. And um, but since you know COVID, everything's got you know everything switched to like virtual, and right? So this is like a virtual type competition or something, you know? But pretty cool. Yeah, yeah and they've done. Um, I don't know if it was from the last year when they did this, but they they've done a few like you know uh, features of the artists for like you know shoes, and they've done like little interviews with them and stuff like that, which has been pretty dope to see. Um, yeah. So yeah, you can uh, you can submit your stuff uh, starting today. Was it? No, yesterday. Starting yesterday. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah. Starting yesterday. Up and through the twenty third, uh, you submit everything, and then there will be an online contest. Um, and then it looks like they're actually going to do a live show uh, at House of yeah, Vans. Yeah. So Winners. yeah, that'll be dope. So yeah, I. Uh, Man, Van, this is a they've done a lot of work on their website, man. I shout out to whoever does Van's website stuff now cuz it's really nice. Um yeah, yeah, they got some cool new stuff. They got that new feature now, the um um the drop list. Have you seen that? Yeah, so that was the other thing that I, I mentioned earlier like we were going to talk about some things I didn't even know were coming and yeah. uh there's two on here I had no idea about. Um yeah. another it's dime drop. Yeah. That's dope. What what is this? Is this a the Bedwin and Heartbreakers? That's the first photos I saw. I did a Google search and then there was a site from Europe that had posted up the article already. And I think Vance told him to take it down. Ah, uh, they're, they're dead. Yeah. Yeah, Bedwin, but you can still see photos like they're still cached. You can still see them. But it's like all that Paisley, you know, bandana print. So, what is this brand or who is this person? It's another one of those. I don't know. I don't really follow them, but I'm sure we're offending like super fashion, you know, people, especially like the designers. <laughs> right. Yeah. Our, our friends at Vault, you know, they're like, "What? You don't know them? Like, sorry. how do you not you, know that? Let's take a look at their my head again, like you always do." Let's see you their know? lookbook um, <laughs> from Autumn Winter. I want to say Blends. I think so. Blends a while back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, yeah, this is this is some yeah, I don't know. This is some fashion. This is cool stuff. I I don't think mm-hmm. I I couldn't pull some of this off though. Definitely. Yo, Bad Brain Skate Highs. Check this out in their lookbook. Oh, okay. Shout out to the homie wearing Bad Brain Skate Highs. <laughs> Whoever you are. Dig it. Is that the same lookbook that has like the Jordan ones? And yeah. Stuff like that, like the little beat up pairs. Yep. They even got like the, um, yeah, the bad brains, right? Yeah. That was dope. I wasn't expecting to see that. <laughs> cool. Yeah. A brand I've never heard of, but I'm pretty into it. Oh, they're old stuff. That's sort of like some hot rod sort of stuff. Old like hot rod, like car stuff. <laughs> 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 
Um, cool. Ooh, yeah. Wow. Dope. <laughs> I like yeah. that parka thing. That's cool. That that I, I see Todd. I see this stuff and I see Todd. Todd wear that. Yeah. yeah. I guess I see Todd. That. Yeah. Cool stuff. Yeah. Well, looking forward to those. Um, yeah. Looking forward yeah, to that stuff. Fans sure. are trying to. I don't know. I, I feel like they, they, they get these ideas and then they maybe hand it off to somebody and then right. let them run with it. And like, cause you can't click on it. There's no stories. There's nothing to talk about the product. It's just nothing at all. A photo and a date and a name. There's a, and it's random though. So on like this one, there's a learn more on the Vibram. There's a learn more link, but it's basically just the post or the emails, right. That we get. Right. Um, the copy yeah exactly but even this like one thing that always annoyed me right with this is if you came here to find information or see what these shoes look like Mm -hmm. like this is the best picture you get and Mm -hmm. you can't tell what what these look like I mean they're 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 cool like artistic shots I'm, I'm into them but like man that's you're not getting a lot of information, you know, from that. No. Where, where's the rest I of the agree. picks? Um, but yeah. Are we still saying it's the uh, the first Vibram shoe as well? Yeah, they are. Um, for the first time. Uh, uh, well, I guess it doesn't say that on on here, but it de- definitely said it on their um, on the first post that they put out. They may have corrected that. I don't know because there's definitely those those. Yeah, we talked about the. Taka, he's he's used Vibram a number of times. And then, like, one thing... Barney Skate Highs, right? Mm -hmm. Or not Skate Highs, sorry. Barney Slip-Ons. I found a pair on eBay. This will get us into sort of some eBay what-the-fuck stuff, maybe. Um, Mm -hmm. Which slip-on? The checkered? The black checkered one? Okay. Let me pull up my my eBay real quick. While I'm doing that, um, what else we talk about while I'm pulling all that up? Uh, It'll get us off topic on some random other. Probably stuff. will. Mm-hmm. Um, no, we'll what, uh, talk about uh, the sneakers app. Oh yeah, shit. You know that's. I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of like. More of the same bullshit. Um, you know, granted, we're not really, you know, here, like, talk too much about, like, Nike and whatever, but obviously that's part of our culture still, you know, sneaker collecting and whatnot. And then, like, so this past week, uh, Nike came out with, like, their, um, you know, on the sneakers app, talking about inside sneakers, the exclusive access program and how it works and trying to basically say, oh, you got to interact with the content you know, the end of, you know, not just like stuff or hit the heart on it, but watch all the videos, sit there, spend all your time going through all the things that they've created just to get engagement. And then, you know, setting up multiple accounts could reduce the likelihood of obtaining access because we've always thought like, man, my account's like blacklisted or something. I can't, you can't get right. anything on I'm it. never getting but anything. My sister, my sister had a new account. She barely signed up for it like last year and she would get everything. So my, my brother-in-law, He'd always tell her, "Here, you gotta wake up early with me so we can, we can you know, both try for this." And she'd always like, score. She'd she she'd win, and he'd always take the L's on everything. So it's like, yo, like, yeah, maybe setting up the new accounts is the way to do it. You know, um, you know. But then they tell you there's no way to tick all the boxes and be guaranteed exclusive access. Which you know, it's like, well, what the fuck? Like, well, then what is it then? You just want me to waste my time on your shit and still not, you know, get any like opportunities for exclusive access and stuff, you know? And exclusive access is when you get like this notification that you have a chance to buy something, you know? Not saying it's reserved for you or anything, but it's like, hey, you get like an open window to come line up virtually, right? And that's a whole other thing right nowadays. All we do is fucking line up. We used to line up in front of a store. Now you just line up in a fucking like virtual queue to try to buy something, you know? It's like, right. go on forever about that. But this is just more... More of the same bullshit, man. It's like really, like sort of know. like creating that illusion, mm-hmm. right, of of fairness, right, with not just, really just just say all oh, your shit's already like 
reserved for whoever you want. Right. To be. <laughs> you know, let, let goes to us sometimes, you know. It doesn't make any sense. It's like so random, you know. Joe, are you muted? I think Joe's muted. I don't know. Can you not hear me? Yeah, we hear you, you know, now, yeah. I saw you I saw you talking a little bit, but I couldn't hear. We, we weren't getting anything. Mm-hmm. Ava's trying to help me with my volume because she says it's pretty low, and I don't uh-huh. know. Oh. Gotta bring that gain button up. And yeah, turn that button. baby up. That's when, uh, it's like all, like all the way, all the way up. We hear you. Mm-hmm. Better? No, okay. Yeah. yeah, we got you. <laughs> um, I was gonna, I got an, I got an input on that. So on, on a yeah. this, um, venture the raffle. You went, you went to the raffle a week early, or three or four days early, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, it's another thing. It doesn't guarantee you access or anything like that. But I've hit on stuff um, on Adidas before, and even with Nike, it's like one every fifty, sixty, seventy. Right. <laughs> but I have to. Be, but I have to wake up at fucking seven a.m. Yeah. To get it over here on our side. And I think it's. I. I don't know. I'm. I'm annoyed. And it, I know it's not really our thing necessarily but um the, you know i still love i love all shoes of course the preferences yeah. preferences the waffles but uh you know <laughs> things. it just it's kind of terrible i mean if i'm up i'm trying right yeah, yeah. I, could, yeah. I, I really was like i need this i need this nike i need this you know yeah it's like it's forced us to become the opportunist that we hated like you something you have your, your heart set on you're almost not going to get it and then you just got to be extra excited, I guess, if you right. do happen to get it. But it's like I, I mentioned before, that term is like resell, retail now or resell later. Exactly. You know, so you're going to buy it no matter what. And then, yeah, so all right, good. You just bumped up all their sales. But then, you know, that's why you see yeah. a lot of shit get returned to the outlets. You know, I mean, people buy it and then they're like, oh, uh, I can't resell. It. It's not worth anything. Somebody's end up returning it. And then the outlet just sells it for the, the same retail price, but with the lid ripped off of the box. And it's like. Yeah, it's like you, if you think you might want a pair of those shoes five years from now, like, fuck me, we got to get them. You got to buy them now, otherwise you're going to be paying, you know, whatever later. Something I saw that Roden Gray, because I just ordered, I got those wackos, by the way, from them, um, all three pair. Uh, no. I, I had them sitting on my screen for like, uh, like, like two days, and I was like, okay, let me just, if they're still in stock, I'm going to buy them, and so they were, so I bought them. Um... Mm-hmm. But one thing I saw is that they have sort of like us, like it, like in the group, right? You can't return a pair. Like if you bought like a, uh, I think what they call like a limited drop or something like that, um, you can't yeah. return it. So you, you have to purchase it or something. Um, yep. Yeah, it's no, it's not returnable. So, yeah, but Nike doesn't have that, right? Nike, you yeah. do whatever. That would stop a lot of it, right? Yep, yeah, if there was rules set in place, that would stop a lot of it for sure. But you know Nike don't want to. Nike don't care. It's not as good. Their best interest is to just run through product and right. sell it. Right, that's it. Same thing with the shops that re- that, that sell it, right? The Absolutely. Like every, it's a win-win for everybody. The hype keeps keeps the businesses, you know, going. You know, but at the same time, consumers, you know, are very fickle. They're also very easily manipulated. That's why advertising right. is the big dog. That advertising has always paid the most for anything. In, in life, you know, yeah. going back, you know, it's because it's like, how do we get these dollars from it, you know? Absolutely. Got to separate Watch us clowns from our... Right <laughs> you're going to get a, you're going to get a check from StockX. What do you care? Yeah. Or if you get not a check, you're going to get, you're going to get money instantly. And that's all that, that's all that this is. It's consumer, I mean, it's just consumerism maximized. That's it, man. We're part of it. But it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's sad. It's sad. I mean, look, I'm trying to buy those false hands, and yeah. people, right. the, the price is dropped. They're going to sell them for $13. They sat on a shoe for two weeks now for 13 bucks. Congratulations, assholes. Yeah. yeah, congratulations. And, and like, the uh, those Supremes, the mids, like, I think Dave, maybe, was it? He bought a pair that was, like, less than ten dollars over retail or something and like that's a loss to whoever purchased them man. that's the culture man it's that fast fashion on to the and next thing almost two weeks 
Wait, it's two it's weeks for him. So weird. Turn around and sit on a week later for a, a whopping ten bucks. Lunch. Well, that's because they're kids. Fucking lunch money. Couldn't be me, yeah. man. Could oh, not yes. be me, bro. Yeah. So. No, my kids. Mm. Yeah. So I got those Barneys pulled up here um, on okay. stream. Uh, let me actually let me send them to y'all um, in chat real quick, so we can look together. Cause there's something funky about these. Which chat? Like, are you sending this to? I'm gonna send them to our. Uh, Twitch stream chat. No, to our oh, um, oh. what you call it? Our yeah, iMessage. Oh, okay. Sorry. So I got, this is the actual eBay. Couldn't get it out. Older? Yeah. So these are these are the this is the auction. Um, and so the Vibram thing reminded me this. So. These here have a Vibram outsole. It's a Barney's, right? This yeah. Is Do you think these have just been resold? Could be. I mean, didn't Scotty now pair this color? I think he had this black, gray, and navy pair. Um, I have never bought any of the Barney's wovens. I don't know if Dave has a pair of the Barney's. But, yeah, I'm looking at that. That doesn't look like the original soul. Right? It looks know. weird. No, and, and, and the, the Vibrams, like, they do that, right? You take it to those, like, like shoe repair shops, and they'll glue on yeah. the bottom and then cut it to size. And so I think that's what this is. I think it was just resold with, a, like, a standard flat bottom. Because, like, isn't that what, like, Vibram is? They're, like, like just like a universal soul company that, like, you can actually buy soul. Right. Them, right? I think that's what it is. It's just so weird that, like, these, they look, I mean, they're not dead stock, obviously, but they don't look like they have any wear, definitely not enough to need to put a new sole on, you know? Right, exactly. Yeah. So, I don't know. Someone, Someone bought these for whatever. Maybe because he's trying to just spend 100, 100 bucks to put a fucking bottom sole on. <laughs> right. I know. Super strange. And these are, like, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'll probably end up buying them. They're, I think they're like 34 bucks or something like that on eBay right now. So don't snipe me if you are watching on stream. Um, so I'll probably end up getting them. Ukes had, I think Ukes had a couple of pairs of the 50th anniversary woven ones, the black and white. I remember somebody posted up a bunch of old vaults, like new. But yeah, they the are was a black and white, so. 34 bucks right now with a buy it now of 150 So... Great, you just pulled the whole world. Yeah, go ahead. I'll find you. Uh -huh. If you try and get them. Oh, they've got some par... par? It's so weird. I wonder how people come up on this stuff. That's so wild. Anyway. Um, cool. So, uh, one other thing I wanted to talk about um, was... Oops. I think there was two more things, right? No, there was Palace, but then the, the kick ass. Yeah, these kick asses, these are dope, and I had not seen these before. Um, Obviously, they were a uh, some marketing thing for uh, the movie. Whoa. Some marketing thing for the movie, uh, which came out in, I don't even, it's been a long time. These came out a while ago. Um, Thousand ten? It's been a minute, man. I think it's, it's older than that. I was looking at Apple then. I feel like it was about that. No, two... Oh, wow, yeah, spot 2010 on. 2010, yeah. 2013 for the second one. But, um, the but yeah, like, these are super cool. Uh, and I had never seen them before. And they're samples, and you don't see too many samples in my size. So I was I was very interested in, in taking a look at them and seeing them. Um, but, you know, they're on sale from... It's a Japan auction, and they're like three hundred bucks, four hundred bucks almost, not including shipping. So they're 
definitely not worth that to me. So if you want to... No, yeah. yeah. They come up every once in a while. They're not... Maybe like once every other year or two. But, yeah. And yeah, I've seen them, but they're just kind of obscure. So rare that you can't really put a price on them. Right. You know? it's, it's like one of those things that's like... Rarity is is, is is like a double-edged thing, right? Because like sometimes you can be like, oh, it's super rare, so it doesn't always mean it's super expensive, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. In the world of collecting, there's got to be somebody who wants it, you know? And usually they want it because somebody else has it, you know what I mean? Yeah. All these shit, shit on toes. If he's having shit on toes, I'm, I want shit on toes. You know? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's the term we always give my nephews, like, one always wants something, the other one wants it too. It's like, see, one wants shit on toast, the other one wants shit on toast. <laughs> yeah, so these are dope. So I wonder, like, you know, who all has a pairs of these? I'm sure they were commissioned by the studio and given out to maybe crew. Uh, mm-hmm. Definitely the people who were actually in the movie. But, you know, you'd like to see, you'd like to think at least that folks who were... Um, behind the scenes got them or these could have just been commissioned for like you know sending out as promo for advertisement to people yeah. um we've seen that before too so really cool i love coming up on stuff like this i'm always i'm sure y'all are too we're always lurking the the sites to see um different things and seeing what we can find so yeah i'll start sharing more if i come across cool, cool yeah things. we'll try to leave up our stuff oh did we I skipped over the the other stuff from eBay. Um, the Rowleys? We want to talk about those, too? It's really just like a... This guy has a ton of, like, vintage skate stuff. Um, mostly, well, not mostly, but Rowleys and some other things. Anti-hero stuff, but... Um, Oh, he's added he's added new things since I've been here. Well, I want to look at this off off uh, offline. See what he see what all he's got here. But um, you remember right I said that? <laughs> um, yeah, like skate shop connected or something. That's like, what I'm thinking because he's got he's all this like, old shit, man. Dead he's stock. Even like, he's even got like wings, which that was like the hype of Syndicate too. Right. Like, so you had to have been at the shop or something. Five hundred bucks. He's got old like double taps, you know, the O double O three you know, skate yep. highs, complete with everything. Not just anybody was buying those back then. It was, it was sneakerheads who were buying the double taps, so um, you know, crossbones. Yeah, we got dead stock. What's the guy? What's the guy in um, Texas skate shoe collector? He's the guy that lowballed everyone on their shoes. <laughs> Oh, I remember that cat. Yeah. This this dude's in Tampa. Yeah, that's not the guy. Different guy. You're talking about a guy from Texas that lowballs everybody? Yeah, and his shit's like way high. Yeah, I remember that cat. Come on, who would that? Who? I I, want to say his eBay name is Skate Shoe Collector. Yeah, it's like Skate Shoe Collector is is what it is. So he's got crazy stuff, but super overpriced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I, I have a pair of, like, extra um, orange double taps, and he sends me, like, a buy now for, like, $30 weekly. <laughs> bro, look at... What is... Where did these prices come from, bro? Right. Syndicate yeah. Ave Classic oh, yeah. Highs. From the fucking Strictly Waffles fucking Facebook group. Jacking up these prices. $1,000 buy it now for these... Get out of here, bro! You. What's this all you get? once. Right, yeah. All right, bro. That that and how does he know that those are Def Cons? I don't know. Maybe he does. I don't know. Yeah, the mids I saw on there. He's got the mids, but like the they yeah, look like, like they've been like, like in the bottom of a box. Some of those mids are beat. They're DS, but they're yeah, like they're, totally destroyed. Yeah, the the, the it's all yellowing on them and stuff. Yeah, that's good luck with that. It's got a bunch of Mike Giant stuff. Mm-hmm. Maybe this guy was just yeah, like a crazy collector or something, but like I don't know, man. 
he had a bit of time for it. We had to cross paths for sure. He was like to have this like range of a collection of bands for sure. You're like in the know, right? And it's all like it's like core yeah. skater stuff too. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, like the FTCs, like those FTC Concords, right? The half cabs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see those too often anymore. What? And he's got a. The prices are just bananas. Right. They're just absolutely bananas. crazy. Yeah. You and and not <laughs> even like the stuff that you think would be super, like the like the double o three double taps, right? Those mm-hmm. are four hundred bucks. Which uh, okay, I could maybe see someone paying four hundred bucks for those, right? Yeah. DS complete everything. But then you like those, <laughs> those abs, the Dill Syndicates for for a thousand dollars. What is, what is going on? Maybe it's a typo. It was the abs skate lows, right? That's like the least popular pair of the pack. Like, uh, the abs. So he's got those, but he but he had the the skate higher like decons. Oh, okay. Never mind. After. Yeah, the one with the S on the side. Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even think those ever went above retail. They were at the rack. Right, <laughs> they got, they went super <laughs> low. I, I remember we, we would get all those keychains off of them. Right, <laughs> keychains, oh, yeah. yeah. So key, key, and then return the shoe. We'd buy the shoe and then return it. <laughs> the lows are... Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, he's got the lows too. 600 bones. Ooh. We're just giving them like total like free advertising. Yeah, sketchy magic, man. If you're in, if you ever see this, hit us up. What the fuck? Hit us up and and send send Billy and, and Joe some of what you're smoking. <laughs> no smoke for me. Just beer. Send it beers, buddy. Um, <laughs> well, you, know, you made it to our pod. <laughs> Congrats, man. You <laughs> made you finally made it. Us on the on our fourteen watchers. Um, yeah. Sweet. Well, that's all we had for the uh, for the agenda. Do we want to we want to talk about anything else, or are we ready to wrap it up? Any save rounds? Anything we want? Else, anything else we want to hit on? I think we. I don't know. I mean, we finished all the topics that we were planning to hit. I um, mean, hopefully, we delivered. You know, I, I'm talking closer to the mic this time, so hopefully, it sounds a little better. Um, Buttery. <laughs> you know. Um, yeah. I don't know. How about you guys? I think every week it gets better, man. I mean, this this week was a lot more better than uh, next week is going to be even better. It was topics, some stuff to, that you yeah. want to know about, talk about, whatever. So. Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I think that um, this the, we're we're trying to get good good content for everybody and make it so it's enjoyable and not just. I mean, when it comes down to it, we're just three dorks talking about stuff that we're into um so it's it's crazy to me that we even had i think we had 16 people watching today and are at the peak which is just wild so thank y'all so much um so yeah if you are uh if you ha- if you're watching us live thank you thanks for the participation be sure to follow us um throw a sub if you're able to um that definitely helps uh, if you're watching on on youtube uh, be sure to subscribe um, and then, what do they say? Smash it or tickle that like button. Whatever you got to do. Um, there's a guy on there who says tickle, and it just it makes me want to vomit every time he says it. But um, uh, yeah, so hit <laughs> that like button, uh, and then you know subscribe. It does make a difference. And uh, catch us, uh, catch the re the video the vod tomorrow, um, or um, podcasts or YouTube uh, tomorrow as well. Um, so thanks for hanging with us tonight uh, and uh, we will see you next week alright peace ciao peace I really love you bye